I thought about trying this game where I was going to throw you some hypothetical uni situations, right? Right. And I'm going to see, and you're going to tell me how you would handle that situation and what you would choose to do in the event that that happens. There's some fun ones. There's some, you know, like more academic ones, some serious ones. We'll see how it works. If, you know, let's get, let's just get to it, right? So I'll throw you out okay. a hypothetical scenario. And you just off the bat, you don't have to think too hard about it, but just off the bat, just tell me what you would choose to do. Okay. Like, I wrote these quite a while ago, so I apologise if they've aged badly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not COVID Okay, proof. so you've just left the club on a night out, and I did full research into this one. You've just left the club on the night out, and you've got to make that key decision that everyone makes after a night out. Up north, it's cheesy chips and gravy. That's pretty much the standard staple of food outside. But it's also sometimes McDonald's. So you have that option. You're in London. You've just left the club. Where are you going to eat? Is it a kebab shop? Is it Mackey's? Or is it somewhere else? They do have a lot of kebab shops in Camden. But I myself have never gone for that. I would go for chips as well, you know, often because I don't even drink. But if my friends are going to get a snack, then I've got to get one too. And also, <laughs> exactly. I've just done a lot of dancing, so I deserve it. Um, it would most likely, more often than not, there's also McDonald's right outside heaven. So that's often where we go before, while we're waiting for the taxi or like the cab home. Um, yes, McDonald's. And my favourite is the chicken nugget and chips. Like if I can get a kid's meal, that's fun because you get a toy um, with an apple <laughs> pie. But I know that the 20 box nuggets day. is better value. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, food after a night out is essential. Right, next one. Everyone's at uni. Everyone's independent. Now, the thing that happens, it's a big event that takes place for everyone every year. It's your birthday, right? And now a big fun thing about being at uni is you get to do surprise birthdays, you get to plan them, stuff like that. Right, you've been, you, right, you, you have been challenged with the task of finding food for this person's birthday party, right? They love chicken. Okay, this is a hypothetical person. Which chicken okay. shop and where are you going to get food in London? Okay, it depends on the friend, right? So one of my friends works at Nando's. So I'd be inclined to be like, let's get you a box of Nando's or something like that kind of chicken. But we also have um chicken cottage but the thing is i know what their favorite is so if they really love kfc chicken then i get them their kfc popcorn chicken that's my favorite thing. i've only actually ever had popcorn chicken but i really liked their kfc mm. um so it, it would depend on the person and it would depend on what kind of party that we're having because what if it was a nice meal out then we would go to nando's that would be nice but if it was like surprise here have some chicken it would most likely be like kfc <laughs> KFC or chicken I'm not cottage. sure. <laughs> I'm not sure which party you know, where you're like surprising people with chicken. Like <laughs> food, you know, here's it's, your favourite chicken. Yeah. I, I'd agree. If you're going out somewhere, it's got to be Nando's. Um, I don't know chicken that well in, in London, but I mean, I've heard there's lots of great, you know, great chicken shops everywhere. But yeah. Um, next one. You are deep into the research for an essay or a project that you're doing and you need a book for reading, for research, but it's not available in the library because it's been taken out and there's nothing available and you have to pay for it online, but a lot of students don't want to have to buy the book just for one option, you know, just for one time. So what are you going to do? There is a solution, but I'm wondering if you, 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 you'll, you'll think of it. What are you doing? I would ask my sister because my sister knows how to crack the internet. <laughs> so. so you'd find like a, you'd find like a hooky download and just get it yeah. illegally. Yeah. Not illegally, just like, it's just, just like for just, free. You know, for free and you know, getting or, it somewhere. Yeah, why, why, what's the answer? What is the, what, what, what way around that? Uh, I did a little that? bit of research and turns out you can order any book you want for free to the British Library in London. And they'll, and, they'll, and, they'll, and they'll stock it for you and you can go you can go pick it up. Oh my God, that's genius. But then you'd have to, okay, okay. You, it does mean you have oh to physically God. be in London, but to pick it up in yeah, person. Yeah, with COVID, yeah, yeah. Fair, but that's really good. I didn't know that. Of course, yeah, with the library. Why don't I think of that? Yeah, just ask, just ask for another copy. Okay, yeah, smart, like it, yes. <laughs> You're vibing with that answer, I can tell. Um, Love it. Okay. 
this is one that I've personally experienced and I absolutely hate it, but I'm wondering what you think. So you're living with a flatmate in a house or whatever and they're playing music or playing video games 3 a.m. in the morning. It's getting on your nerves. You can't sleep. What are you doing? Well, I'm very lucky in that my flatmate is really lovely, really kind and wouldn't do that. Um, if it was the case, and it was, say it was like a neighbour or something, I yeah. just... I'm not also the one to do a noise complaint. To be fair, actually, where we live in London, it's like that all the time. So we have like loads of people, like drunk people that just walk through the car park in the back room like, hey, Johnny. <laughs> and like, they'll be shouting Johnny for literally 20 minutes. Like, I fall asleep to like this lady every night shouting Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> so, well, I mean, if it was, now, nah, if it was, if it was, okay, if I had a new flatmate who was doing that, I'd be like, excuse me, can you turn it down, please? Uh, put in some headphones. Put some headphones. Here, put have headphones. my AirPods. Like, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I mean, if they were having a party, I'd join in. But if it was just by themselves, then I wouldn't. Yeah. But... Playing like League of Legends at three AM, shouting to their mates. <laughs> That's what I had to deal with. Oh God. Right. I don't know how you do that. Earplugs, earplugs. Um, took me like two weeks to realise that that was something that could be done and it would work. But for those two weeks, I was hating them thoroughly. Um, anyway. Would you, so there's always that classic trope. There's a few ones here and, and it was a funny little joke that I saw in Jack Edwards' book that I recently read. Um, and it's like that classic trope of people wanting a better grade and then choosing to try and maybe like flirt with lecturers. Would you do that? No. No, I think, you know, me and my sister were having this discussion. She was like, yeah, like, of course. And I was like, no, I just couldn't do it. Not my cup of tea. Yeah. I would... Can you hear my dog? She just barked. I think she got to be let in. Just like, let me one second. Do you want to, do you want to bring the dog in? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I love dogs. Yeah, I I couldn't do that. I just, no, it's not me. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I also realise I'm such a boring person. Like, I just take, I know all my friends as well, but like, may do it. Like, that's so obvious. Like, my friends would do it as well. But no, nah, can't. No, nah, a bit gross to me. Freaks me out a bit. <laughs> a bit, bit gross, yeah. I mean, I would love to speak to someone in this podcast who's done this uh, this next one, just because it's interesting. It's interesting to talk to people who've had different experiences and everyone goes through something in different ways. Um, this next one, right, it's it's in the realm of like OnlyFans and like selling like feet pictures and like fetish stuff. Oh, feet, okay. Would you, would it, you know, with like living in London and money must be tight and if money was tight and there was that option, would you choose to sell like and make an OnlyFans account and, and and go down that route would you would you do that it's not for me also I absolutely detest feet feet creep me out I hate them I do not <laughs> yeah, want but... to see even my I never wear open toed shoes I think they're disgusting I just can't I just hate it doesn't feet. matter if you hate it I don't get it I know again if someone's willing to pay you I know for I'm photos like, of your feet no, I, I like <laughs> I, I know because you can make decent money off it as well but it's just not really me uh -huh. like, even my my friend um they have these like sugar daddy websites and things like that that you can try yeah. I am not for that but just hearing the stories of just like 400 quid here 500 quid here just to sit at a bar but also no that's not me it's just a bit it's just a little bit unsafe there's just something about it that i'm a bit like mm, you when you owe some well you don't owe someone because you've given them a service but i i always just even if i don't owe someone money i just still feel like i just owe them something you know uh, so it's, yeah. i don't think it's for me as a person <laughs> i mean i respect that absolutely don't get me wrong um but I, I stand by what i said i'd love to speak to someone who who has been in I'll that get you like, in contact. <laughs> Uh, yeah, get me some contacts. <laughs> no, that will be like proper dodgy. Yeah, this guy wants to talk to you about the like, fact that you like sell pictures of yourself. He's like, what? <laughs> no, but it's just so fascinating because like everyone's in different scenarios, and I think it'd just be really interesting to find out like how you get into that situation and like mm. maybe some of the dark sides of yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. And, and when it goes when it goes south from being innocent to 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 being a bit a bit sinister. I feel like um, with it what also annoys me sometimes is that I'm completely up for girls like you know what but throughout history it has more been like women are objects of, of men and only men like girls can't make money out of their own body like it's just more now like they have control over it so like things like 
online porn and things like that it's so there's so many layers to it it's just so unsafe so unrealistic there's so many things and then with only fans there's like loads of upheaval because it's it's also so much of taboo about the whole subject as a whole <laughs> but yeah like there's just so many things yeah. i know a lot of people have a lot of strong opinions on it but i just feel like this is the first time that i know a lot of girls can benefit from it and so some people are like oh no you shouldn't i don't know i don't know but yeah it's just yeah no, you have a you have a valid opinion. I mean, this is this is a game, but like, in in a sense, it does create that opportunity to have like a serious conversation about something like like that actually does happen at university. So yeah, um, it's it's a fun way to open up these these sorts of conversations. No, this no. last one is 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 way more like fun okay. and a bit out there. Um, I'm hopefully going to be speaking to Max Fosh in the future. Hopefully, who's like the king of meal deals, right? Oh. You're in a rush. It's lunchtime. You're running into Aldi or Lidl. What meal deal are you picking up? To be fair, what, if I'm what, in a like cheap meal deal, it's always Tesco's for a meal deal because oh, is it always Tesco? All, I mean, Tesco's good. They, Tesco's yeah, good. it's always good because it's three pounds. All the others in London try and like boost the prices to like three fifty or four fifty. Just it's not a joke. Yeah. Um, so Tesco's, I would go in and I'd either get well, this is a problem because of that the slight like, gluten intolerance, the eczema elbow. <laughs> um, I would go for if they had. Okay, if they didn't have a gluten-free option, and often it's just like a gross salad, I'm not really up for that. I love duck hoisin wraps, chicken Caesar wraps. I would get it with Ooh, the yeah. um, Eat Natural yogurt bars. I've been converted by a friend. They're like, the, it's the yogurt and almond ones. So good. Used to get the naked drinks. Then I found out that they weren't one before the day. I felt like I was being cheated on. So I've moved back to the innocent <laughs> smoothies. And I think they're better. Yeah awesome love it thank you so much there we are uni hypotheticals did, did it work did yeah, you enjoy that it yeah that was really good thank you